I'd like to begin with a fact, a simple yet shocking fact. It is this, today's conquest, they say, is tomorrow's competition. This is true. Much of this material has been described as an illustrated, detailed course in perversion. We know that once a person is perverted, it is practically impossible for that person to adjust to normal attitudes in regard to sex. I suppose you know all about life today. <laughs> A flood tide of filth is engulfing our country in the form of newsstand obscenity. The United States Supreme Court has described it as dirt for dirt's sake, perversion for profit. Yoo-hoo! Jenny thinks that she has the key to popularity, parking in cars with the boys at night. When Jerry brags about taking Ginny out, he learns that she dates all the boys. Practically every major fraternal, civic, and religious organization, the juvenile court judges, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, innumerable psychiatrists, sociologists, and psychologists, the Military Chaplains Association of the United States. And he feels less important. Abnormal sex, crime, and violence, and with lesbian implications. We describe it as dirt for money's sake. Nothing like being Miss Popularity. It is big business, profitable business. Through this material, today's youth can be stimulated to sexual activity for which he has no legitimate outlet. Oh, I'm a one-man team that does a job with no glory attached. He is even enticed to enter the world of homosexuals, lesbians, sadists, masochists. Homosexuals, lesbians, sadists, masochists. Homosexuals, lesbians, sadists, masochists. What about Ginny? Does that make her really popular? Irregularity. The merchants of obscenity, the teachers of unnatural sex acts, attribute the moral decay among our people in very large part to those the who park in cars. They tell youngsters that it's smart, it's thrilling. It provides kicks to be a homosexual. They can be bought openly by anyone in drugstores, groceries, delicatessens, terminals, malt shops, cigar stores, newsstands, all over the community. They lack the moral standards and values of our Judeo-Christian heritage. <laughs> and then we come to a terribly sad indictment of our society. Sexual sadism, strange flagellation cults, erotic confessions of a sadist. What is fetishism? The pleasure of pain, the worship of the whip, sexual problems of a masochist, how to buy a whipping, famous transvestites. Are cross-dressers afraid of sex? Girls who park in cars. Homosexuals, lesbians. Think then of the consequences to the inexperienced youth who, in purchasing and studying this material, becomes a pawn for these misfits, these homosexuals. Seventy-five to ninety percent of it ends up in the hands of our children. 